Section 3.2 is over angles of triangles. Now, while most of this you have done, some of this is going to be new. So we have two vocabulary words you first need to write down. Interior angles and exterior angles. Now, when we talk about a polygon, we talk about a shape, a triangle, square, rectangle, a uh, trapezoid. So right here, we have three intersecting lines that make a triangle. Interior angles are angles that are inside the polygon, which I have highlighted here by red. And exterior angles are the angles outside the polygon, which here I have highlighted in blue. Notice that the angles touch the polygon. So the, right here, this red, this, uh, red uh, arrow right here is showing you these three angles are not exterior because they are not touching the exterior of the polygon. Exterior are the angles outside. Interior are the angles inside. Here is your key idea. Interior angle measures of a triangle. Now this is something that is review for you or should be review. You have been taught this last year. In words, here is what this says. The sum of the interior angle measures of a triangle is 180 degrees. If you add up all three angles of a triangle, that is going to give you 180 degrees. Something else that you need to know is in algebra. How does that look? If you have an angle measure that is x degrees, y degrees, and z degrees, then if you add all three of them up, x plus y equals z equals 180 degrees. x plus y plus z equals 180. This is how you write an equation. You add up all three angles and set them equal to 180 degrees. So let's do three examples. Example number one, we're going to find the value of x. In example A, we have two angle measures, which are 32 degrees and 48 degrees, and an angle measure of x degrees. We're going to do this a little differently. I know, you guys all know you need to add these up and subtract from 180. We're going to start using equations, though. So what do you know about all three of these? They add up to 180. So you're going to write the equation x plus 32 plus 48 equals 180. Solve the equation. Combine like terms. 32 plus 48 gives you x plus 80. Solve the equation. Subtract 80 on both sides, which you should be able to do completely in your head. Therefore, the value of x is 100. Example B. Once again, we need to find the value of x. We know that since this is a right angle, this one's going to be 90 degrees. So let's set this up. x, which is here, plus x plus 28, which is here, plus 90, gives me a value of 180 degrees. Combine like terms. 1x plus 1x is 2x. 28 plus 90 gives me 118 equals 180. This is now a two-step equation, which you should be able to find really easy. Subtract 118 on both sides. That gives me 2x equals 62. Divide by 2, your x is 31 degrees. Your x is 31. Now, if I asked you, what's the missing angle measures? You would take the 31 and plug it in here and plug it in there. And the missing angle measures are 31 degrees and then 31 plus 28 and 31 plus 28 is 59 degrees. So please make sure you answer the question. If the question asked find the value of x, which it did here, all you need to write is x equals 100 and x equals 31. But if it asks for the missing angle measures, you have to take that and plug it in. Today you have a second key idea. This key idea is over exterior angles of a triangle. We're talking about the exterior angle measures of a triangle. So here is what the exterior angle measures of a triangle state. In words, the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of the two non-adjacent interior angles. That seems like a lot. So let's look at our picture. Here's what it states. The measure of the exterior angle, remember that's the outside angle of the polygon. So in this case, it'd be z. z is equal to the sum of the inside angles that are not adjacent to z. So z 
would be adjacent to this angle here that has no letter on it. So we're talking about these two. Z is going to be equal to the sum of the non-adjacent interior angles. So Z is equal to X plus Y. Z is equal to X plus Y. So Z, which is on the outside, is going to be equal to the sum of the two interior non-adjacent angles. So Z equals X plus Y. Example number two. Find the measure of the exterior angle. Well, here's the exterior angle is x. That means that x is going to be equal to the two non-adjacent angles inside the triangle. So to solve this problem, we're going to put x equals 36 plus 72. Because the exterior angle, which is x, is equal to the sum of the two inside angles that are non-adjacent. So x equals 108. So that's, that's the value of x. We have to find the angle measure. So if I take the 108 and plug it in, well, it's just x. So the missing angle measure is 108 degrees. So let's do part b. Write down triangle b. So right now we know three angles. We know a 2a, an a minus 5, and an 80 degrees. This is the exterior angle that is equal to both of these. So that means we write our equation, 2a is equal to 80 plus a minus 5. You have to remember how to solve equations, so that would be 2a equals, combined like terms, 80 minus 5, what is 80 minus 5? That would be 75 plus a. I now have to move the variables on one side, so I'm going to subtract a subtract a, that gives me 2a minus 1a, that gives me 1a equals 75. That is only the value of a. That is not the angle measures. I take this value of a and I plug it in here, and I plug it in here. So one angle measure is 80, we already know that one. This angle measure is 75 minus 5, so that would be 70 degrees. And then this angle is 2 times 75. 2 times 75 equals 150. So 150 degrees and 70 degrees is my answer. Our last example. If you would like, pause the video and try to do this yourself to see if you know how to do it. Let's set this up. This is the exterior angle, and it has to equal to this angle plus this angle. 2m plus 20 plus n. So we would write 4n minus 20, which is the exterior angle, is equal to the sum of both interior and non-adjacent angles. So there's our equation. We first have to combine like terms. So it would be 4n minus 20 equals 3n plus 20. I now want to get the variable on both sides, so I can subtract 3n, subtract 3n. That gives me 1n minus 20 equals 20. So then I add 20, I add 20, that gives me n equals 40. So the value of n is 40. We have not found the exterior angle. So we take the value of 40 and plug it in right here. So if I plug it in, it would be 4 times 40 minus 20, which gives me 160 minus 20, which gives me the outside angle is 140 degrees. Now, you should be able to do that in your head. 4 times 40 is 160 minus 20 is 140 degrees. So remember the two key ideas. The first one talks about the sum of the interior angles of a triangle, which is 180 degrees, and then the other one is the exterior angle, and the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent interior angles.